Hello and welcome back to another episode of a Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name's Psyche and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Unfair. And it is time for us to start with a big bang. After the Dr Drukhari raids, I figured we might want to lift uh, the Drukhari uh, patrols in one of the sectors and uh, attack them. So. What uh, does it say here? You fail to get past the shi ships unnoticed. Yeah, I don't want to be unnoticed. We're going to go in and uh, smash some of their ships into pieces. And the idea would be to hopefully uh, blow a serious enough blow to them so that no further raids can you cure. That's at least the logic. I don't know if these Drukhari here Enemy are related to back. our other All Drukhari. Nice. All right, torpedoes. Send their souls to the void. One. Torpedoes now. Two. Send three. Their souls Fabulous. To the void. Couple of hits, couple of good hits. Send them into the cold void. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Very good. These guys will be affected by a warp turn. Very good. Ten rounds? Are you kidding me? Oh no, what did I get myself into? Wow. Okay, well that torpedo doesn't work. This torpedo here should be good. Fantastic. This will be exciting. Whoa. So we're not getting any break in between, they're just coming for our shields over and over. That's not cool. Torpedoes now. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. Let destruction go forth. I would love to turn. Maybe like that. Let the incandescent beams scorch our enemies. Good, there is another kill. Fantastic. And we're taking this side as the strong one. Are you kidding me? More? But we're down to six rounds. Oh. 
Yep, get this guy down. Fantastic. Very good hits. Let destruction pour forth. Fabulous. Okay, cool. Um, still can't turn around like I would want to. to here let the Empyrean guide us um, we have stronger well let's get strong uh, shields from the front Getting our master of maneuvers back, but unfortunately these guys here uh Oh now we're taking real damage We have lost the shield let us not lose our zeal Can we torpedo? Personal master cannoneer. Where's the cannoneer? There you go. And that's a kill. Fantastic. Emblazon our path. Right shield is going. And a couple Send more torpedoes. Souls to the void. Ouch. Oh, wow, well, we're down to ninety one. Interesting that ship sacrificed itself just to deal damage to us. Are we done? Wow, I think that was by far the most difficult one that we have fought so far. Um. And we got uh, God's Bane Lance weapon. Medium range, deals 52 to 60 points of damage. interesting that we got two of these things although we can at maximum equip one those three torpedoes by the way were absolutely great Good, plat steel, not what we're looking for. I was hoping that we would find the root cause of the 
uh, Drukhari here with their massive fleet. Owning. Uh, okay, let's see. Showing the way. What is that? What does that do? We have four of these compass things, right? Showing the way. Owning uh, to his keen intellect and more bit of luck, the rogue trader managed to discover several ancient imperial ships and restore uh, archaeotech compass mechanisms pointing to the location of the fleet's mothership, the Muro uh, 79 system. Okay, Muro 79 system, I have no idea. Is there a new system that came up? See, that's the di difficulty with this type of map. It, it's just fun to look at, but it's not very handy, really. Uh, you don't have a search function, and... Yeah. Mainly that. And it is not very easy to maneuver because you can never see the map fully. Good, a couple of interesting planets here. But by no stretch of the imagination was that worth uh, fighting over that fiercely. Something else must have had the Drukhari uh, set up here. I don't know what it is, but I suppose we're not going to find out. Maybe it was just that coincidence. Making the routes ever, ever so much safer. An important colony event has secured. Foulstone. The Lord Captain's presence will be required. Don't mind me, I'm just flying around here. Uh, where was Foulstone? Down here, right? Alright, one, two, three, and four. Don't tell me we're getting attacked yet again. Colonies inhabitants are afflicted with a religious ecstasy and visions. Uh, I don't want heretics. Conversations surrounding the vision soon fade and the colony returns to normal. That was the event. I was personally required just to declare these people heretics. Sheesh. Good, traveling here. Next stop, we're going over here.
The ancient decks were transformed into exotic gardens. Well, there are worse things than that. Wouldn't you agree? At least we got some extra food. A new planet, what is this? This is Kiavra Gamma, finally. That is finally Kiavra Gamma, uh, mm, which we need to visit as well. We don't have any excavators, so there's two adamantine, which we could really, really use. Is no, no bueno. Seven Prometheum, that is great. I've seen the planet once before, Casamaga. Exterminatus was invoked. Incinerary cyclonic torpedoes were deployed. The world was burned uh, for several months until there was nothing but ash. Bizarre structure observed from space appears to be a ruined estate of a wealthy noble. Further searchings reveal the remains uh, of an Enviro dome, a landing pad, a main manor, servants' quarters. It's impossible to determine what exactly has happened here. The search team has found something truly disturbing in the main hall. An uh, opulently clothed skeleton sitting at a dinner table. The table is set with gold plates covered with old blood and piles of bones. The bones in the plates are clearly human. No other remains have been found. All right, let's purify it all. Let's purify it all. Prometheum would be great as well. What are we dealing with up here? Okay, T uh, that seems to be a landing mission right there. And we got more plat steel. Okay, and another void ship. Box notification from the Orga crew uh, drowns the usual noise on the bridge. An Imperial uh, vessel, the Dark Piercer, and its escort ships are heading your way. Your archives make no mention of the ship and its owner. As you consider your course of action, the ship captain contacts you first, introducing himself as Pilgrim. Uh, the captain greets the rogue trader cautiously, um, courteously and offers to uh, purchase any information you might have um, on crystal Floxton deposits. Why do you need it? The captain uh, coarse laughter echoes from the Vox. Floxton is a part um, and parcel of uh, many different aspects of life in the Imperium. How exactly the customers are going to use it is none of his concern. Pascal becomes visibly animated by the uh, mention of Floxton. Uh, though indifferent to the prospect to deal with a shadowy individual, he recommends you find out more about the deposits. Valuable information in exchange for granting uh, that. Yep, the captain is in the best of spirits and uh, in gratitude for your invaluable help. He sm uh, sends a small box that contains ancient ma maps and documents. Um, they appear to speak of uh, certain imperial worlds lost many centuries ago. Then, in a somewhat conspiratorial uh, tone, the pilgrim relates a story about a standoff between two Xenos uh, fleets, which he was told by an acquaintance. A person in question, sadly enough, died at the hands of the Inquisition before he was able to pass on the coordinates. Bid farewell and travel onwards. Okay, I'm, I assume that's another rumor added to our long rumor list. Treasure in the ocean. All right, which kind of brings us to this here. Our next nice little landing spot. Let's go. Very good. Time to move in. Oh, 
One day you will remember that formation. Welcome, your lordiness. Please, please come right in, our chief and your nitwits. Quit standing around. Okay. Perfection. Take reads Lathino's Pride. The name Lathino suffices your mind. Uh, the history of a uh, family from the Cronus Expanse, which invested all uh, they had in a family ship. Ship was perished in the warp and never seen again. I tread a path unexplored. I spoke to Mistress Toleman recently. Don't you think you're taking advantage of the Lord Captain's hospitality, Van Callans? I assume you're referring to the small request I submitted to Vigdis. If so, then no. I'm not taking advantage. The matter is closed. This looks like a trap. If it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it might be a duck. Rita, your lordship, please excuse me. I really uh, no, uh, I don't really know your name. Welcome to our little colony. May the light of the uh, light of the emperor be with you and with us. My name is Rita. I'm in charge here. Would you believe it? A well-spoken rebel. This is rather sweet in its own way. What is this place? We call ourselves a Reiter's crew, and this place is Reiter's camp. That's it. We're re uh, uh, recolligers, scavengers in common terms. And our work is all legal, even through uh, mm, your brethren have no liking in us. Pascal stares dispassionately at Rita with a hint of disgust. Evidently, he has not even considered the possibility that replying to this creature's uh, words could be anything other than heresy. So, you've got your own sheep? No, not even close. A luxury like that. You could count the recollers who got their own ship at hand. The old uh, worker's hand uh, that has got sink into the machinery three times and slashed by a plasma cutter twice. We fly with uh, whoever, mostly just taking our chances sometimes. We hitch right uh, on the promise that uh, we'll pay with what we find later. Five or so years back we got uh, dropped off uh, at the abandoned station but something wasn't right, the life support system, the ship came back and picked us up two years later and found nothing but bodies. And about 15 years ago, before I had my first little one, the ship took three crews uh, to locate and ran into pirates on the way back. The ships got out of expedition uh, for years at a time, so it was ages before anyone realized that we were missing and it was even longer before they remembered the scavengers plus it took some time to find a ship that they could check and pick up us with uh, long story short all three crews um, had uh, bought it yep okay you take pride in your trade i see i sure do it takes skill and luck and a good hat on your shoulders we risk our lives every day crawling on top of these old buckets if something goes wrong we die uh, but uh, by the score sometimes one moment we're there the next one we're gone Hope you don't uh, Judge me too harshly and uh, don't like the insolence, but people even big people like you think too highly of themselves <laughs> Nonsense there are those who are great and those who are nothing that's the nature of the uh, things If you say so your lordship shrugs can you tell me anything about this wreck? No, not that much. Uh, we're no eggheads, you know, we're manual laborers. It's an ancient thing, pretty dangerous, and we really don't know much beyond that. Before we came here, some tech priest uh, has done their own bit of gutting. I mean, ritualing, bowing to the spirits, all that. Um, and hey, we dragged a, do a dozen of their broken servitors out of the mines after. The carcasses smelled awful, but you can pluck a decent uh, number of parts out of the servitors and sell them. I can take you from this place not safe here and sooner or later it will 
drift somewhere so remote that no one will ever find you again. But this, this is our whole livelihood, your lordship. Uh, you can take us from here and where would, what would we do? All right, if that is uh, what you want, uh, then cool. The world will bow. I'm still not 100% sure what they're eating the entire time, but maybe that problem was solved in 40k and I just Intriguing. do not know about it. I know there are 3D pr uh, printers, but the likelihood that they get enough to eat is rather small. Embrace and it certainly power. doesn't help when we're just stealing their cargo. Okay, so other than Rita, there's really nothing here. And... I will buy the component rechargeable uh, battery. Good. Really, nothing more that Let's we can do. Seize the opportunity. Well, it sucks. I was really hoping that we would find something. I've read about this. There's nothing here but cheap scrap metal. The world will bow. I, I Monk's wreckage was an instruction manual for the duty officer on how to access the safes. Maybe the safe is the big find. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Successful. Let's seize the opportunity. Good. Clearly we can do something here. We ha that tech use came up just after we understood the order of things. It's by the way a very interesting job. Embrace true power. Essentially hitchhiking through the galaxy and getting uh, dropped on these old ships. This is blessed with multifunctionality. My knowledge has its limits. I tread a path unexplored. Hmm. We fail to obtain the uh, safe of the key, uh, the key of the safe. The world S there another logic test that we could uh, succeed on. Powers unseen. Oh, are you telling me I had a seventy-ish percent chance to to get it, and it's just a thirty percent chance that. Sorry, you are not successful. Intriguing. Wow, that is very, very unfortunate. We would like to understand what the safe power. contains.
something is propped against the door from the inside you can hear the piercing sound of a saw from Let's the other side is the opportunity well it stinks but uh, I think we need to get back to the void ship good on the void ship the lights keep flickering uh, in the bowels of the dead ship Rita Meshisovia sends you her best regards and asks what the colony can do for the rogue trader um, dispatch supply shuttles offer necessary closes and leave the colony Just double checking really quickly, maybe that 70% tech chance has resetted. Okay, so I think we did whatever we could do. Unfortunately, the save will be beyond our limits. It's unfortunate that you only get like that one chance and then the save is completely gone. That's crazy. Alright, moving out really, really far. Nothing over here, apparently. Porta Septentum. Another warp gate. Ooh -ooh. This somehow looks like Drukari territory. More plat seal, okay. Listen, this time I'm not going to be taking any chances uh, with the warp gate. That's not happening. Lord Captain, we're passing by a construct marked on the star charts as a dimensional gate. Our augurs are not showing any suspicious energy readings. The device is dormant, thank to the emperor. What is this gate? An ancient Xeno artifact? Older than humanity itself, judging by the design, this gate is leading somewhere, possibly straight into the wicked abyss of warp, considering all of the nasty shit that uh, used to roam around here. Many captains, her ladyship Theodora included, have tried to reveal its secrets, but no one could really figure out. Good for them, if you ask me. Was uh, Theodora interested in it? Her ladyship didn't exactly share her plans with us. Always kept it close to, uh, kept it close to her chest. But I'll go on to a limb and say that she was searching for a way to open the gate. Uh, the cognizant fleet conducted its own analysis of the Xeno artifact. All records of the expedition to the site were added to the exploration um, catalog. Report received. I wish to study it. I would advise against approaching the gate. The Inquisition has declared the entire area around it off limits and packed it with mines. All right. Consider ignoring it done. Although it would be interesting to really understand what it is. But I'll guess that that'll be one of uh, the mysteries uh, that I won't be able to explore in a blind playthrough. That's the problem. If you cannot look up quests, then you just gotta um, go with whatever you can find out yourself. Which is unfortunately not always that much. The Emperor is on our side. Ouch. Wow, we lost initiative quite badly here. Well, let's start with that. We can move a little bit better. 
This here is the new weapon that we loaded. Couple of now. torpedoes, all right. Good, the explosion hits the other ship, which is great. Scan it. Although we took some damage, we're actually okay. Shields to the back. Steer us to our target. Maybe not to the back. That was a tiny mistake. We destroyed two of the destroyers right away and now it's more a question of can we kill these guys quick enough. Our torpedoes are nicely hitting. Ah, shields are slightly down. Let the Empyrean guide us. This ship is uh, this ship is being brought, of course. Ah, uh, barely not good enough. Let's just regain our shields for next round. These guys and nicely destroy them. Unleash torment. Unleash the storm of micro cannons. As the incandescent beams scorch our enemies. All right, uh, that looks. Pretty damn good so far. Moves to here, hits a couple more shots, better shields, and we're good to go. That's a free kill. Lord Captain. And we got ourselves a couple of ceramic void ship platings. I like that. As well as a lot of trophies. Nine points of damage on the four and five points on our other sides. I think that's a great option. Upgrading the hull further. We're now at 230 hit points. That's better than nothing. That's the only thing that keeps us alive, really.
And are we increasing the ramming? Now nah, we're just keeping a little bit of uh, scrap metal just in case. Okay, as much as it pains me, I think we've reached the limit of where we of our expansion. All of this here is unlikely to have a lot of uh, stars that we can explore, but I might be wrong. Who knows? We're scouting out new routes. No routes over to here. That is very, very unfortunate. The violent battle is unfolding before the rogue trader's eyes. A patrol ship from the Crowder fleet are tearing apart two small Eldari vessels. Once they are finished with them, the void ship gives chase after a third already damaged vessel, clearly with the intention of destroying it as well. Uh, seeing the last ship's impeding death, Iliad cries out to the Lord Captain. Her voice is trembling. Send a message to the Corona fleet and to stop the battle. The Vox Master relays the Lord Captain's demands to stop the battle and soon returns with a reply. According to the Quora ships, this group of Xenos are malicious criminals. They are guilty of raiding the system's planet and robbing merchant vessels. Okay. Analyze the intact ship. Despite the presence of some weaponry, the Xenos ship is more likely meant for transporting cargo um, or the Xenos themselves. Ask for proof. The patrol's captain reluctantly admits that there is no conclusive proof the system sometimes the target of pirate raids. Are we now being dragged into that battle? Really? Oh, come on. I thought we could win this argument with words. Ah, finally! Some real action! Well, that's unfortunate. Send their souls to the void! One, two, Torpedoes. three. Now. Hitting the back. The the Continue to hit the back. Ram them. Our shield is down. Micro sundered by the void. Good, you guys. Turn around. Fantastic. Restarting the shields. And we're good. A couple of good hits. Uh, he shouldn't go for the plasma torpedoes. Smite the enemies of humanity! For the glory of the Imperium! Oh, 
All right, good hit. Putting out a couple more torpedoes. Torpedoes now. Unleash torment. Good, scan them. And yeah, we're just keeping the front shield, to be honest. We got level 7 on our ship. We're really good at uh, fighting star battles by the Lord's order. Um, meanwhile, the wounded Xeno ship rapidly distances itself. Every attempt to contact it uh, is met with frustration. The Vox Master reports that the vessel is in deplorable condition. Alderia too scattered and resentful of the Monkai for recent death of their kin to answer in her hating calls. Let Irelia speak, appeals to the kin's wisdom, but the words of the outcast cannot make uh, them trust the monkeys. Trying to outpace the pursuit of the next monkey vessel, the Alderia overload the warpship drives. One of the damaged engines is unable to bear the stain before the eyes of hundreds of officers. Xeno ship flashes in a fiery light blue through the stained window glass. The bridge officers openly rejoice, offering prayers to the Emperor. Sometime after, uh, Iliad comes to the Lord Captain, Haggard still holding up to hope. She says that she came on board uh, the monkey vessel to set off the darkness in the hopes of finding her kin, but found only corpses slaughtered by humanity's hated. And though she and the Lord Captain were not always in agreement, the Elatar still tried to, uh, to lend a helping hand in gratitude as she promised. She shares the co uh, coordinates of her kin's cache. can be found in the last chance of Siren. Okay, well, uh, that's not bad. We can go there soon-ish. This planet is devoid of even the most primitive forms of life. However, the crew has made a quite strange discovery, a mirror lying around the center of a huge crater. Take the mirror. Uh, the mirror now hangs off the wall of the compartment. It looks completely normal. However, only an hour after its arrival, the Vox Master reports the shuttle crew has delivered. The mirror has disappeared. The people who hung the mirrors also have disappeared. Even the enforcer who wanders into the compartments. All right, destroy it. Deciding. Half measures were not enough, the Lord gives the or order to, yeah, wonderful, 50 damage. Not sure what that mirror is about. A villagent uh, member of the Orga crew has detected small Xenos vessel drifting. Uh, we can board it with it uh, out issue. And it's civilians again. We're continuing the scan. More plat steel. Good. More unknown ships, which I assume are Drukhari. If I had to take a wild guess. Enemy contact! All hands, make ready! 
to unleash our fury. Yeah, well, it's definitely Drukari. Turn it around. Send their souls to the void. Big fat hit. Fantastic. Them. Another big fat hit. Good, and we're upping the shields. Yeah, that's the wrong target. You should have gone for the Talon frigate. I think they are just going to be destroyed. Of course not when our supporting team is just trying to go for the torpedoes, but okay. Whatever. We got a lot of great new abilities, apparently. So, improved ram deals twice the damage. Research shield now inflicts only small reduction. Silent running. Steady hand. That's good. I like it. And I also like the uh, scraps because that is ultra important to get enough of them. And quicker cooldowns are fantastic. Reload some macro cannons that were fired during the acceleration phase. Yeah, we're just using new heading because more... more maneuverability is the way to go. Also, that can be upgraded. Alright, that's it for me for today. We explored a little bit. Unfortunately, still no Drukari scum that we have found. But we have done very well. And the next time we're going to work with the Nola Scepter. Which is going to be a fun little system. Okay, well, we could chart a course here because they simply don't have a course yet. Oh, I see. You okay. 
so you can artificially chart the course. But we could do that also from here. I see. Okay, well, that's a good util uh, utilization of our uh, remaining points. Just connecting, uh, connecting the dots. Because apparently sometimes you need to do uh, do a course charting because there is no route to the respective system. I mean, we've been at all of these systems, which is crazy. I've been exploring like mad. But uh, we still need to get Kiavagamer, deal with the disrupted shipment, so that, that'll be a, a, huge, um, a huge undertaking of us as well. But that can wait until the next time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like Rogue Trader and want to chart a course into this channel's success, then uh, click the like button and see what happens. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.